In this video, we'll balance the equation for BaNO3 2 plus NaCl. That's barium nitrate plus sodium chloride. We're going to use a bit of a trick to make this easier to balance. So let's try it. We have one barium atom, and then this NO3, we call this the nitrate ion. It's very common in chemistry. We have it here, it stays together in the reaction, and we have it here. So we're just going to call this one thing. So I have one nitrate ion times two, means I have two nitrate ions, one sodium and then one chlorine. On the product side, I have one barium, I have one nitrate, one sodium, and then two chlorines. So it makes it a lot neater and a lot easier to do if we count these nitrates as just one thing, if they appear on both sides of the equation. Let's balance it. It looks like we could balance the nitrates just by putting a two as our coefficient here in front of the NaNO3. So we'd have two times the one nitrate that would give us two, and then one times the two there, that would give us two sodium atoms. Let's balance the sodiums. We could put a two as our coefficient here in front of the NaCl. One times two, that'd give us two. So now the sodium atoms are balanced, and the two applies to everything, so one chlorine times two, that gives us two. We're done. This equation is balanced. So you can see it kind of helps when you have this nitrate ion, you have it here and here, Counted as one thing makes things a lot easier to do. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for barium nitrate plus sodium chloride. Thanks for watching.